right now. But when you talk about Chelsea, the interesting thing is there is one person who used to play for Chelsea who is going to find himself in a Champions League semi-final is Tamori. And uh, is he waiting to speak to us? Yes, he is. Oh! Hey! 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 Good on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel, Tamori? Yeah, obviously, um, no, it feels good. Um, you know, we're putting a good shift over the last two games. Um, and to be in the semi-final, of course, um, that's such a rush, such a, such a good feeling. Um, I think it makes it a bit sweeter because, you know, before we'd even... But when the draw was made for this quarter-final, a lot of people wrote us off um, before we'd even played. And, um, yeah, to, to, to qualify for the semi-final and get through, um, obviously, um, it's great for us, great for the team. And, um, you yeah, um, know, we're really excited, really happy, tired as well. <laughs> Sikayo, well done. Uh, this is Terry. I wanted to ask you a question on how you defended on Osimhen. Every time the ball was on the side and the cross was about to go in, you defended old school, in an old school way. You always went tight to him. You don't go to the spot, you played the man. Tell me more about that. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, Victor's been having a great season and, um, you know, I know how, how dangerous he is. Um, and uh, yeah, I just tried to make sure I got my body in between him and, and the ball as, at all times as much as possible. Obviously, I was disappointed that I managed to score at the end. Um, but yeah, I just tried to get as tight to him as possible um, and try not to give him a lot of space. And then um, I think, you know, they like to play the ball in behind with him a lot. So I think we, um, Simon Kier and I, we really covered the space well whenever they got their head up. And um, yeah, I think we actually frustrated them and we limited the, the amount of times that we could get the ball to him um, in dangerous areas. And then when the ball actually came, um, yeah, we, we, uh, we defended really well, got tight to him and um, we had a lot of cover. So yeah, I think, um, <clears throat> you know, coming into a game like this um, with a player of that quality, um, you know that you have to be tight to him and you have to be switched on. And I think we were today. For Corey, Jamie, Carragher here, I just want to say you're absolutely outstanding in the game and we'll speak a lot more about you as we get to the semi-final. But a little birdie tells me that uh, the guy who's just asked the question before me is one of your biggest idols. Now, what are your <laughs> thoughts of him as a pundit as well as a player? Yeah, I mean, as a player, of course, um... You know, there's not much to be said. Um, like you said, you know, when I was growing up, uh, you know, Thierry. I hope you don't mind me embarrassing you like this, but um, yeah, I was a, uh, yeah, I was a big fan. He was a, he was uh, my idol. So um, obviously, I, as I was getting older, I moved behind, um, further back, the, back down the pitch. But um, yeah, obviously, uh, and as a pundit as well, it was really funny. You know, we was, we were actually funny. watching. Um, funny. <laughs> no, we, we, no, we, we, Look, Thierry, he's the animal. <laughs> no, I remember we were watching um, the last game. We were watching um, we were watching the video of when he was doing the guess who, and he guessed himself twice instead of Oli. Um, <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah, it's a really funny one. We were watching that the other day. In the mixer, that's yeah. what it does. Thierry, come on. No, listen. One thing, no, first and foremost, thank you. you yeah, I, I got a bit red, you know, when you said that, but <laughs> I want to ask you a question. How great is it to play in front of Mike Menio? Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he brings so much calm to the team. Um, you know, such a presence. Even, you know, off the pitch, he's so professional. And, um, you know, as soon as we're, we're preparing for a game, he's always talking and he's saying, you know, maybe we should do this, maybe we should do that. He's always organising, always helping. And, you know, he's, he's, he's more than a keeper in a way. Um, you know, he, he gives us so much when we have the ball. Um, he manages to get us, get us forward a lot quicker. You know, he's got a great kick and he's very accurate with those. So... And especially, um, you know, when we need him, you know, sometimes when, um, you know, they get through our defence and um, he's got to make a world-class save, you know, like he did last week uh, against uh, Di Lorenzo late in the game. You know, having having someone like that behind us obviously gives us a lot of confidence. We can play a higher line, we can be a bit more aggressive and um, we can rely on him. So um, I think that's the, that's the key thing. OK, for Corey. last but not least, who was a better defender, Jamie Carragher or Big Beaks himself? <laughs> <laughs> You can say that. Are you going to make me answer that? For Corey. Yeah, are you going to make me answer Yeah, come on, really answer, come on. The, the fans want to know. Come the on. viewers want to see. Sorry, what did you, you say? I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> Palo Italiano? Si, si, Palo Italiano. Oh, OK, understood. Oh, Who's better than me or Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> when you were growing up, who was the most impressive defender? Who did you look up to? Is there anyone that stands out? Maybe somebody who was playing for Manchester City called Mike or someone at Liverpool called Jamie? Were they influencers for your idols? Yeah, both of them. I mean, obviously, as I said, Thierry's my idol, so I can't, I can't oh. change my idol now. But, um, <laughs> Double down. But... Uh, you know, obviously, going um, you know, growing up in in the the youth side at Chelsea, obviously John Terry was a was a big um, oh, was a big reference no. for me. Um, I, have to, I, have to, I have to be honest. I have to be honest. Um, yeah, he they, he was a big um reference um for me. But um, obviously, both the both of you, obviously, Micah, I know you played in Italy, so um. <laughs> 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 
Gare! Ciao a tutti! We so appreciate your time and we do apologize as well for uh, Micah and Jamie's chronic mispronunciation of your name time and time again. I got it right, man. I got it right. I, I, I wouldn't have gone to swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to a very quick break. Thank you so much for your time.